Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo Legrand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I don't need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh. All right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. <laughs> ah, hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. Come to think of it, I'm not that thirsty. Don't have the stomach for it, eh? Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. It says Woody. Pounds and pounds of nails. It says out on house call. 
Please come again. I can't. He's lacquered it onto the wall. Where do you want to go? Hello again. You talking to me, boy? Hey, old man. How about blowing off the cannon? How about just blowing off? My name is Augustus DeWatt. Not old man. And this cannon is for official purposes only. Hello again. You again? Still mumbling, I see. And what are the official purposes of this cannon? I watch the sea. And when the mail boat arrives, I blow this cannon. Dang ships three days late. You don't have a brother named Marty, do you? Boy, the only Marty I know is Mardi Gras. Who? Mardi Gras. It's a joke, boy, a joke. You are here for Mardi Gras, aren't you? Yep, can't talk now. Having too much fun. You kids today. Always on the go, go, go. See the world. Glass bottom boat. Check. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. I almost forgot. I wanted you to have this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. Try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy closed. I hear you knocking up there. That solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lids, uh, be there in a minute. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is... Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. I seem to be stuck. Hello? Is anybody out there? It's locked. Help! I... It's locked. Okay, a joke's a joke, now get me out of here! Open this coffin right now! Dang, looks like it's empty. Of course it is! I just went to the bank! Now get me out of here! Anybody? I really am claustrophobic. Someone's going to pay for this! I'd bust out of here, but the dang thing's built too well. 
Are you still out there? Hello? See the world. Three hour tours. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. In fact, they do it very well. Come on, it's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Just put your two lips together and blow. Pirate Spit Contest. Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight. I'll give it a try. A volunteer. All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? Well, they call me the Phlegm Master. The Phlegmster. The Phlegmalizer. The Master of Phlegm. Spit away! Misfire! Misfire! Everybody run! Well, so much for the Phlegm Master. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Everybody already has the necessary equipment. Turn a disgusting hat. Ooh, sounds like Augustus. Cheat? With everyone watching? False alarm. As I was saying. Don't let this grab. Again? False alarm. As I was saying. What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? What a waste. Thousands will spit. Hundreds will win. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. No volunteer. <clears throat> the Phlegm Master ready for his comeback. Spit away. All right, Phlegm Master. He's cleared first place! That was truly awe-inspiring! Sports fans, we've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. You truly are the master of phlegm. Come on, let's give him a hand. Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. So how about it, gang? Come on, don't be shy, let it fly. It's a plaque with an odd looking gob of something on it. I... It's on the tip of your tongue. Check it out. See the world. How much will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? That's not just any lump of pus. Oh yeah? What's so special about it? The spit of the person who killed LeChuck is on it. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. It's a deal. Great shipwrecks of our century. 
says here the Mad Monkey sank at 37 North, 83 West. Sunken Galleons. Sightseeing. Are you the same Kate who bought all the near grog at the Bloody Lip? Yeah, and you can't have any of it, so don't ask. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, I'm hot to find the wreck of the Mad Monkey. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. Well, here we are. What now? I've seen coffee cups bigger than this ship. Can we get on with it? I've seen bigger ships in bottles. Ha ha. I'll dive in and look for the sunken galleon. Are you sure you can swim? Hey, I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. It looks really heavy. I got the monkey head! Well, let's head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Sunken galleons. think anyone would ever get the Mad Monkey's figurehead. Can I get the map piece now? Sure. It's yours. All right. I got the first map piece. It belongs to the antique dealer now.
I think I get the idea. Nice! There's nothing interesting in there. That's the bird that stole my map. Uh, no way. He looks like he bites. It's crazy, but it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. Yeah, now I got two map sections. It's hundreds and hundreds of maps. Where do you want to go? Once again. Uh, LeChuck, sir, I just wanted to report that we have finished building the new torture chamber you requested. Very good. Do you have anything else to report? Uh... No. Well, there is one other small little thing. I assume this has to do with Guybrush's capture? Well, sort of. You've allowed him to find the second map piece, haven't you? You fool! You ought to ready your ship and sail after him yourself. Find him, or die. Stan's Cozy Crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's inscribed with a quote. Happiness is a warm manatee. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Darg! Darg! Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. I'm not opening up one of these without good reason. I don't think there's anyone of interest in there.
Hmm. Ooh, looks like human ashes. Silty. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Well, I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. About that voodoo doll? Yes, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I still have the touch. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Hey, that's just a display model. I've got the real stuff back here. That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I could do lots of cool stuff with that. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. I have the ashes of somebody I'd like resurrected right here. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, just a dabble do ya. Thank you.